Hello, and welcome to Acid Head's Scary Stories. <laughs> Alright. The first story I'm going to tell you is of the Black Eyed Kids. Ah, creepy stuff. Here's how the story goes. You're walking along one night to your car. You just come out of a store. Maybe you are off hiking in the woods by yourself just to enjoy nature. But you're somewhere by yourself, kind of isolated. It's late at night. Really no other cars in the parking lot. You parked far away. You're isolated. And you're getting into your car. And you don't think anything's wrong. But then you hear a voice behind you. Hey. Wait up a minute. We could use a ride. Would you please give us a ride? And you turn around. And you see some kids walking up towards you. Usually two or three. And there's something weird about them. Something kind of off. But you can't really place it. You don't know what's wrong. And they walk up to you. They don't really seem all that threatening. Just something's wrong. Just a little bit wrong. And again, one of them says, We need to get home. Our mom will be mad if we don't get home soon. Or something like that. And your first instinct is, Well, these are some kids that you know, took off plane and their God ended up way too far away from home or something. And their parents are going to be pissed off and they might get whooped or something. I don't want that to happen to them necessarily but there's still something weird about them you don't want them in your car so you kind of brush them off and say now nah, you know I I'm busy I have things I need to do it's real late I need to get home I need to eat dinner I'm sorry you know go ahead and just you know here's some change call your parents and get a ride but they're insistent can you please give us a ride home? If we don't get home soon, our mom will be mad. And there's something about the way they talk. It's weird. It's They're not excited. They're not scared of getting in trouble. It's just this flat, monotone voice. And it's creeping you out. And there's still there's something wrong about these kids. And you don't know what the hell it is. And then suddenly it just strikes you. Their eyes are black. The whites, the iris, the whole thing black. Solid black. And you start as you realize this. And then they realize that you've noticed. You realize, They know that you know. But they don't attack you. They just become even more insistent. Can you please give us a ride home? We need to get a ride home from you. If we don't get a ride home from you, our mom will be very mad. But there's still not much of a change to their voice. They're more insistent, a little bit more demanding. But the tone doesn't change all that much. It's still that flat monotone. And the eyes. The eyes are black. Maybe they're weirdos wearing contact lenses. You don't know, but you don't want to know. You don't want to find out. You just want to get the hell away from them. So you get in your car. Close the door. Lock the doors. And maybe they tap on the window. You know, still saying, we need to get home. Can you please give us a ride home? Please give us a ride home. tap it on your window but you start the motor and they step away and you take off and you look behind you you look behind to see if there's anybody there following you or something you almost expect them to be in your back seat or some crazy shit like that and you look behind you and there's nothing as far as you can see in the mirrors 
you even maybe you slow down and look behind you and there's nothing nobody they're gone You want to hear another one? You want to hear the other Black Eyed Kid story? Okay, one more. In this story, you're at home. You're by yourself, usually. hear a soft rapping at your door but you kind of ignore it because maybe it's your day off you don't want to answer your damn door you aren't expecting nobody so you ignore it then gets louder and louder more insistent so you say ah fuck so you get up and you go to answer your damn door and you look out and there's some damn kids on your porch and you're thinking, well, who in the hell are these kids? I don't want nothing. I don't want no damn cookies. I don't want to buy no candy bars. I don't want nothing. So you open your door, and you're about to tell them off to get lost, and you stop. Because you realize that it's kind of late at night, usually. Not always, but it's usually pretty late at night when this sort of thing goes on. And that kind of makes you go, wait a minute, why in the hell would kids be doing like a drive sale this time of night? And there's something odd about these kids, and you can't place it at first. And, again, it's the... Can we come in to use your phone? We need to call home. If we don't call home soon, our mom will be mad. Or... Can we come in so my little brother can use your restroom? He really needed to use the restroom. And I need to use your phone, please. And there's something odd about the way they talk. There's something about odd about the way they look. Something about these kids just is wrong. And there's usually two or three of them. And you tell them no. I mean, I'm not letting you into my house. I mean, you can't be that far away from home. Just go home. Like, but then they they keep insisting. Can we come in and use your restroom? I need to use your phone. Over. You know, it's like a broken record. They don't really change what they're saying. It's the same things over and over and over again. But then something strikes you. You realize what's wrong with them. Their eyes are all black. Every last bit of their eyes is solid black. And it freaks you out. So you slam the door and lock it. Can I come here and use your restroom? I need to use your phone. Go away! I don't want you. I'm not letting you in. And finally, it stops. Goes on for a few minutes, and then it just stops dead. And you look out. Maybe you have some curtains or people or something, and they're gone. But you don't want to open your door, so you look through other windows. But they're just gone. Bet you saw that one coming, didn't you? Sorry. Okay, so that has been the story of the Black Eyed Kids. Now, it's a great urban legend. It might even be true. I am skeptical, but also a bit of a believer in weird paranormal shit. Because, eh, if nothing else, it's interesting and fun. So, Black Eyed Kids, what the fuck are they? Vampires? Meh. 
that's played out. Traditional vampires, the original legends of vampires, they're always bloated corpses that suck blood uh, after getting out of their graves, and they're not intelligent, they're not sexy. That's real, you know, well, real traditional vampire stories. So vampires know. Aliens? Hmm. A lot of similarities to the black eyed, or the men in black. The spooky men in black, not the government type men in black. Uh, goofy movies are based off of those stories. I'm talking about the, well, I'll get to those stories another time, obviously. I'm going to do this as a series of stories. So what the hell are they? Some sort of uh, spirit phenomena, something from another dimension, something that somebody completely made up, obviously a potential uh, source of these stories. But it is a good little spooky story. It's one of those ones that after you've heard it, if you're in a parking lot by yourself and you see some kids off in the distance, because, well, I forgot about that until just now, because usually you see the kids off in the distance first, you turn around, and then suddenly they're right there. Sorry, I forgot that element. So, could it be true? I mean, there's elements of it that to me just seem a lot like uh, urban legend type shit, but at the same time there are some really good creepy elements that tie in real strongly to things like the Men in Black and some of the other uh, conspiracy theory UFO type uh, legends that persist. And they're kind of fun and interesting, so make up your own mind. Do you think the Black Eyed Kids are real? And what did you think of my storytelling? Of course, I'm, this is my first one. Uh, it's been a long time since I've really done any storytelling properly. Uh, I used to be pretty damn good at it, so tell me what you think of my storytelling. Uh, leave comments about my sweaty face or my complexion or whatever to yourself. I'm, not I'm interested in what you think about the rest of the video, which is actually the content intended to be captured, i.e. the telling of the story, throwing in the jump scares for you just to spook you out a little bit. Uh, and the rest of that shit. So what did you think? What do you think about the story of the Black Eyed Kids in general? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a up. If you did it, take off and find something you do enjoy. Uh, subscribe if you want to find out more about what I'm doing and keep up to date on what I'm doing. And the next one, I'm not telling you what's next. I'm not going to do these in any particular order. I'm just going to do them however I fucking feel like it. And if you don't like cussing, take off. I'll cuss if I feel like it. So that's my first scary story uh, video. Again, just to cap it all off, let me know what you think in the comments, as long as it has something to do with the actual storytelling in the video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.